Hey, good day everyone. Pase Bolo here. Uh, NBA has reached uh, its um, NBA All-Star Weekend. So, uh, we will be you know, taking a break from uh, those uh, predictions as well. So, for now, uh, we will be talking about Philippine Basketball Association. Okay, yun naman muna ang pag-usapan natin. So, for today, um, we would have two games. Um, let's start off with the first game. This is Alaska Aces. Uh, going up against um, Terra Firma. Um, Alaska Aces is ranked number 3 overall in the PBA. Tapos si Terra Firma naman, number 10. Alaska Aces has a record of 4 wins and 2 losses. And they are having back-to-back -back wins while Terra Firma Jeep. Uh, the, again, they are at number 10. And their record is 2 wins and 4 losses. And they're coming off a win and that was against Blackwater. The spread on this is uh, minus 6.5. For Alaska Aces. Again, that's minus 6.5 for Alaska Aces. Well, first off, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you very much for Alaska Aces. I grew up watching Alaska Aces. I grew up um, uh, idolizing a lot of their players. Uh, this uh, franchise has actually produced a lot of um, a lot of uh, legends in the Philippine basketball. Uh, Johnny Abarientos, Bong Hawkins, Jojo Lastimosa, Sean Chambers, uh, L.A. Tenorio, Kenneth Doremdes, um, Jeffrey Carriazzo, uh, Willie Miller, uh, and a whole lot more. J.V. Casio, Calvin Abueva, man, and a whole lot more. Um, Philippine basketball won't be the same without Alaska Aces. And again, I just want to say thank you. Uh, for all those uh, contributions that you guys had. And, um, uh, and I know you guys are actually uh, hanging the basketball jerseys forever by the end of the season. And so I made a promise to myself that I will be watching all of the games of Alaska Aces this season. Okay? All right, so on this game, uh, Terra Firma going up against Alaska Aces. Um, ang pinaka star ng Terra Firma dito is obviously their import, uh, Lester. Uh, Lester is a is a wide bodied and a tall and big uh, reinforcement. He is so strong inside, uh, but what's good about him is that he can also score outside. He can even take those three point shots if you know what I mean. Um, he is being supported by uh, uh, Chong Son, and um, who's this? I forgot the name. <laughs> I forgot the name of uh, their uh, their power forward who actually came from Alaska Aces as well. Uh, Aldo Tramos, there you go. Aldo Tramos um, and uh, Joshua Munzon, um, the number one pick a couple of years back. Uh, now, the beauty about Alaska Aces is that they have uh, they have Olu Ashaulu who can actually uh, defend Leicester. So, hindi na kailangan mga problema na Alaska sino magbabantay kay Leicester kasi meron naman silang Olu Ashaulu. But of course, um, as much as possible, ayaw mong ilagay yung import doon sa kabilang import din in terms of defense. Kasi aasahan mong, dumi, aasahan mong umiscore yung import mo. So ayaw mo namang mapagod sila. So um, if, you know, if you have other bigs, if you have other centers or power forwards who can take on the import of the other, of the other team, in this case of Terra Firma, you would prefer that. And Alaska Aces has a lot of bigs who can actually take care of that, you know, that that task i'm talking about um uh hold on my eye <laughs> uh, i'm talking about uh, i'm talking about um their import adamos um i'm talking about uh, hold on tingnan natin yung uh, ko, i forgot the name ng isang power forward ng alaska from from de la sal what's the name uh Kapte, sorry. Uh, Abu Tratter, there you go. I, I forgot the name. So they got Abu Tratter, they got Jaron Tang, they got um, Adamos. Of course, Tang would be a bit uh, small for uh, Leicester, but um, they can, you know, they can do double teaming anyway. They have Publico. Uh, uh, they have Paundo. Uh, they have a lot of bigs. They have a lot of bigs. Kung sakaling gusto muna nilang pagpahingahin si uh, Asyaolo sa pagdepensa, tapos mandang fourth quarter na lang nila ilagay si Asyaolo kay Lester, they can do that. 
Tapos yung kila Changsun naman, Chongsun naman pala, sorry. Wala naman problema because Alaska Aces has a whole lot of guards to choose from. You know, meron silang uh, De Gregorio, meron silang Herndon, meron silang Marcelino, Ilagan. Uh, they even have uh, they even have uh, Rakal. If ever, they would really need someone to take on um, like a point guard or a power forward, uh, they, they do that and they use Kevin Rakal. At the same time, they were using Alex Stockton nang ano, nang ano eh, last year, di ba? Bago magkaroon ng break. I think Alaska will have this uh, as an easy win. Yung minus 6.5 lang yung medyo hindi tayo sure. Pero considering uh, the momentum that Alaska has, back-to-back wins na sila, tapos of course the motivation to win and even possibly win the championship, um, I'm pretty sure that Alaska Aces will go far and, and sh- they should be able to cover the spread. So our pick on this one would be Alaska Aces minus 6.5. Again, Alaska Aces minus 6.5. Peace out, pass love, and God bless.